Good day, hello world, and today you're welcome to Setro Craft Channel. I'm Jackie Setro, and today we're gonna, we're gonna be doing in a few minutes. We're gonna be achieving this flounce that you're seeing, and it's as easy as A and B and C. In case you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and press that notification bell. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, and share. So let's go to the cutting table. We're gonna use a method that is so easy. You don't have to be drawing circles. It's just a very easy method. Let's get to it right away. So doing uh, your flounce in a very easy way, as easy as A and B and C, is just this way. You have these, your fabric. You fold just like you want to cut your circle. You fold like this and where you want to attach the flounce to matters like i'm gonna i'm attaching it by the side of the dress just as you've seen the side of the dress so the length of that dress it's a uh, 43 inches you could use whatever length you want to use uh, you could use a uh, you could make it stop halfway especially when your uh, clothes has joining whatever you want to use so that 43 right now that i'm going to be using i'm going to divide it this this is one fold then i'm gonna fold it again this is another fold then i'll fold again just like i'm having i want to cut out a circle yes full circle three so that 43 i'm dividing it by 16 and it's going to give me 2.6 2.6 so that radius that's the radius i want to be using because that's the circumference of the flounce so 2.6 what's gonna give me that radius that'll give me 2. so let's just apply three i want to be sure after three i'm still gonna have and the length of the flounce i'm just gonna be using eight inches yeah so it's cool eight inches and i'll be cutting three of these you could cut four you could cut five Especially if you, if you have enough fabric, you know, you'll be pleating the flounce. It's not just like other methods. I see if you're going to be pleating it. So you could cut as many as possible, especially if you have enough fabric. So you just pleat it more and it's much beautiful. But I'm going to be using uh, three uh, full circles for the flounce. So it's as easy as A and B and C. So three inches. I hope you can see these three inches. So three inches, the length of the flounce will be eight inches. So by the time I turn in with the lining, it's going to come to seven inches or thereabouts. You could make yours smaller or bigger. It all depends on the width of where you want to be affixing it. So I'll be affixing it by the side of the shoulder and this will be cool. So you just take this round and cut out. So by the time you open it, you're going to be having it like this. So you have it like this. So I'm going to just open by the side and I'm going to cut two more of this. Then I'll cut the lining like so. I'll cut another circle, another two circles. Then I'll cut the lining just same way. And I'll show you how to affix it and get it done. So as, it, as you can see, I've cut out two other circles. And the lining just the same way you just fold a three fold of lining so you're going to open like this then you're going to open by one side you're going to open the circles each you're going to open them up by the side once you've opened like this so you cut by one side so i'll do this for three of them and also the lining i'll open by the side and i'll show you how to stitch on the machine <laughs> then how to come out with our flounce so you just open like so so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna stitch this way the right side of the lining or the lining doesn't have right side, but the, the lining will be facing the right side of the fabric like this. So you're just going to stitch all through, so that by the time we're turning, the lining will go to the back. It will have a nice finishing. Then we'll stitch them together. So right now, having our circle 
like this you know we've opened the four circles so and we open the lining like this you just place the lining on the right side of the fabric right side of the fabric <laughs> never mind my tongue so so we start stitching and we stitch all through then i'll show you the next so you just stitch on half inch like this round being careful of the circle just curving so we get to the end after stitching then we'll do the next thing so after stitching by the time i have ironed it can you see how it is right now it's going to be looking nice like this you just turn it in out then you have it like this i've also done for the other two uh, circles and i've joined them together see so it's going to have this nice feel at the back as well so this is how you just join together you take the right side of the fabrics this way you just take the then like this can you see that so you take this way to the machine and you stitch then you stitch to the lining to such that it's going to cover it let's do that time you turn it it's going to be this way so the lining will just cover up and we just give it a, you press it properly you high on it properly, then we would turn it to our dress. And you see how the flounce is going to look nice. So you can see this is a very easy way of making your flounce without drawing all the circle, circle, circle. Uh, just a very easy way, as easy as A and B and C. And your flounce will be ready in just a few minutes. And you can do it. It's so easy, as easy as A and B and C. So let's see it on the mannequin right now. So this is just the easy way of achieving your flounce. If this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up, like and share and also subscribe. And in case you are there, you've not yet joined our uh, online fashion school and you're ready, yes, you can just join. Contact us on your WhatsApp number showing below www.sexualfashionschool.com and we have lots and lots of freebies. Don't forget to follow me on my other channel, Sexual Blog, where I do my funny skits, momsy and all my paparazzi. And you know what? Just keep calm, keep smiling, keep cool. You may like, you may to, like watch to watch this, this video, video or this. Or this.